and welcome back. My name's Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. This piece was quite difficult to put in piano. Um, it's definitely, pro well, it is probably one of the harder piano tutorials that I've done just simply because of the left hand. So I think you guys are going to have to just bear with, see what you can do with this um, and just keep practicing. I'll tell you the chords and the notes that you're going to be using in the left hand anyway. So if you don't want to do some of the... don't want to do those sorts of things and you can't do those you know you, I'll, I'll show you some easy alternatives as I usually do so let's get straight on with it so to start with okay so in the right hand D E flat D E flat D E flat C D C D C D B flat C and then A G F sharp in the left hand at the same time B flat C A and B flat G and A F sharp E D sorry there I'm not going to get bogged down with all of the fingering that, that you can use this this isn't really what this is about you know choose the fingering that works best for you as long as you're not twisting your fingers over and everything the next thing is the arpeggio so it's just a D basically you can do whatever you want here I think I I, I don't know if I'm going to do it slightly different to how we did it in the example it doesn't matter but it's going to be D F sharp A D F sharp A D F sharp A D F sharp I think I did D A D and then I did F sharp A D F sharp A D F sharp A D it doesn't matter as long as it's a D major arpeggio those notes in some combination is what you need obviously starting with a D at the bottom then we go in with the tune now the chords are all going to be exactly the same. So what I'm going to do, if I tell you the chords, um, perhaps if I remember, I will write them in the description underneath, but it's going to be an E flat major chord, a D major chord, a G minor chord, then an E flat major chord again, then an F7, which is F, A, C, and an E flat. So it's just a normal F with an E flat, which is called F7. I'll, I'll write these in the description underneath. Another B flat, a G minor, an A7, so it's an A chord with a G in there as well, a D minor, a G minor, a D sus, a D major, and I think that's, that, that is the combination of chords that you're going to be using. It circles around a few times. So I'll put those chords in with the right hand. E flat. I'll put the chords in with the right hand, actually. And then you can see me play the right hand at the same time. So it saves me having to go around all over again just to show you the right hand. E flat chord. D chord. E flat chord again, F7, B flat, G minor, the A7 chord, D minor, G minor, D sus, which is G A D, D chord, okay, so what I did with the left hand was So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So depending on how much you can do, when you need to play the chords, you can either just play the single notes.
which still sounds very nice. Again, do the octave if you can. If you want to do the block chord like I've just called out. Still sounds quite nice as well. If you want to do some sort of mpapa kind of thing then. So I think for those of you that can do that, you're probably going to have more of an idea of what I'm talking about. So I don't have to spend too much time spoon feeding you that. But if you're doing an E flat chord, then you're going to be hitting the name of the note before you hit the chord in whatever inversion you're playing the chord. It doesn't matter as long as you go E flat note, two E flat chords. Next one we've got is a D. So you're going to hit a D note and a D chord and then a G minor. So it's a G followed by two G minor chords. We've got another bar of that, so same thing again. Back to an E flat, so E flat, F7, hit an F, and then two F7 chords. B flat. This one I did a G minor on an E bass. So again, if you know what I'm talking about, then perhaps you can put this in. So instead of hitting a G for the G minor, I'm gonna hit an E and then two G minor chords. And then I want an A7, so I can either hit this A or that one, doesn't really matter. D minor, so D and two D minor chords, another one of those. G minor. And then I've got this suspended D, so I hit an A and then a D. So putting that together, did now was I could have done that in one hand but I just chose to do it with the left hand so D and then A C B flat A D A C B flat A G F sharp E flat D then it comes to the faster bit. So this is where it gets really complicated. Um, but again, those are the chords. Those are the combination of chords that, that you're gonna be using. Exactly what we've just said there because it is pretty much exactly the tune again in that same thing, but just a little bit faster. So again, if you're just doing if you want to so one two three one two three one two three what else you could do is block chords pulse them or not do that if you want to or you can go straight in with what we just did So again, I know that is not easy, but I've given you some alternatives there so that you can you can use the same chord, you've got the same notes, you can do whatever you want there. When that bit repeats again, this is where it changes a little bit. So 
I'll just go that over that slowly again I'll just do the block chords you can it's up to you if you want to do that I'll just do the block chords E flat D G minor E flat F7 so that's an F with an E flat B flat G minor with that E on the bass if you can a7, so that's an A chord with an added G. D minor. G minor. A7 again. And then we get to the little bridgey bit, I guess. that little bit slowly so same sort of chords in a different order E flat chord F chord B flat E flat F B flat now we want a D minor a little bit again carrying on D minor so that little bit is C sharp A B C sharp E G F sharp and then we want a D major in the left hand G minor C major F now this is the bit where I had a couple of issues sorting out the chords so if you guys think you've got a better idea for the chords there go ahead and do that but this was very difficult to put chords in with this so I think I've done my best with it we want an A major chord D minor sharp diminished chord there when you hit the C this is the chord I'm not quite sure about but I just went with it so we just go back over that bit D minor F sharp dim F sharp A C E flat D major starts again there it does change the key a little bit but I didn't go through that just because it makes it a little bit longer you guys want to take everything up uh, up a little bit that's that's up to you but then you could go back to you can go back to that bit so there we go um, I know this isn't the easiest one but hopefully you guys have got something out of this and you've at least got the chords and the notes to work with so you can make up your own little version of this and again if you want to change things and do something different go ahead and do that so thank you for watching and all the links are underneath the video and I'll see you in the next one bye